Chicken Nuggets Day has long been a favorite of the students at Olathe Elementary, but a new movement in Montrose and Olathe school cafeterias means they'll only get to enjoy them for a few more weeks. Going back to basics, reducing our processed food, um, cooking back from scratch, baking again. Nutrition Services staff says all you have to do is look at the ingredients label on the frozen meaty morsels to see why. Look at the bottom and see how many of those words that you can pronounce. And if you can't pronounce them, they're probably not very good for you. For a year and a half, the Montrose and Olathe School District has been working with the Colorado Health Foundation, a private organization whose mission is to make Colorado the healthiest state in the country. In that time, it recommended the district lose the frozen food and bring in the fresh and gave them more than $100,000 to make that happen. They're helping us, providing us with um, training and actually with um, grant money to purchase new equipment for our kitchens. And the transformation is already underway. This year, all schools in the district began baking their own whole wheat bread from scratch. Chocolate milk and the foremost processed entrees have been removed from lunch lines. Teachers and staff are pushing students to put a scoop of fresh, locally grown fruit on their trays, and lunch ladies turned cooks are testing out new homemade recipes they've learned. Let their palates develop in that fashion. I think that's when you're going to affect people's lives and they're going to carry that on to the next generation. While they admit there's been a few bumps in the road, staff believes the kids are starting to get on board. If we just keep offer offering it to them, they, they will take it and they will eat it. This summer, the Colorado Health Foundation is bringing in big guns from New York City and around the state for a week-long culinary boot camp to show staff a few extra tricks they can use in the kitchen. Eventually, the district says it would like to make similar classes available to students and their parents. We can't make the change just in the school district, so it has to be an awareness within the community. And start a food revolution that's here to stay. In Olathe, Tim Siesco, KKCO, 11 News.